Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share my first uh, research internship experience in AI guys. So in today's video, we're going to discuss three tips guys. The first thing is uh, like my experience of how I got these internships, so what are the things I did to get in internships. The second thing which I'm going to discuss in the video guys, so my experience, my work experience while doing these internships. And then third, I'm going to share with you guys is like, so what three teams like how to get this kind of internship guys. So I'm going to share three tips in this at the end of the video. So don't skip the video guys, do watch it there fully guys. So don't skip the video. You, you, some points at the medium might be having for useful in your life. So don't miss it, don't, don't skip the video guys, do watch it at the till the end guys. So before getting video, so I've been saying some last few videos that do join the Discord channel. So we're having much more events on the way. So yesterday we completely designing website too. So my probably we're going to launch our websites as soon as possible, guys. So do join the Discord channel, link in description, do join the Discord channel. So it's going to be an amazing platform, guys. I hope seeing you there. Let's get started. So the first thing, like how we go, so what are things I did for internship, guys? So I guess in my my out of my experience, like in my first year when I went to college, so I've been working in like a basic program like Python, C plus in my school life. So when when I entered college, so I had a, like one webinar in some Stanford University in YouTube. So where uh, at the time I just heard about the, what is AI. So out of my curious, so I, I started learning, digging deep in browsing few things about the AI in my first semester. So in my first semester, so I started uh, learning the ML algorithm. So by taking Stanford, so there is a YouTube channel. So I've been discussing the uh, previous video. If you didn't watch the video, link in I can do watch that video and you'll get a like what are the course, what the course is there. So I started like learning courses in uh, Stanford University, so which are available on YouTube. So while learning like, those algorithms, the first stage I just felt like uh, a little bit difficult because like. Uh, like I'm not good at max, so I'm not good at max. I'm not good at max. So I'm average student max. So while learning organize, I just uh, first while learning first time, I just felt like too difficult for me. So I almost spent like two months to learn all the algorithms. So as soon as complete those algorithms, I just started learning. I just started implementing uh, those algorithms in like some project guys. The first project which I did in uh, those are using those machine learning concepts is that stock prediction. Stock prediction. So I did. I had taken few data sets from Kaggle.com. So I started uh, designing those project guys. So my experience while doing that project, right? when I'm doing the, the first project in ML, so when I'm doing those projects, so I just felt few, I just faced so many difficulties while doing project, guys. The first difficulty is that, so at the time I don't even know how to train data, data sets or using uh, these uh, ML concepts. So I just started learning those things. So while designing the application, I had so many errors in that. So while facing the errors, I just felt sometimes I used to feel like trashing the way the system. So jokes are apart. So that's the reason like I've been like struggled a lot for doing first projects. So as soon as completed my first project, so I had a good experience. So I just started applying for a few unpaid internships, guys. So I did a intern, let's say a NGO called so UFV. So like it's a uni, union based NGO, it's in Germany. So where I just started doing some non-profit organization. So I was helping few more seniors in my LinkedIn. So I just started helping them. So that's the first like, uh, that's my first journey to AI guys. So in my second semester, so in my second second semester, I started an internship in uh, Android Studio. So at the time after completing internship, so I had a like good exposure over there. So there are few people working on AI models. So I just uh, like, I just uh, talked, talking with people. I started I start talking with people. So about the AI products and how to design projects, how to build projects using those concepts. So at internship, so I, I guess there's a game game runner for me. So at that internship, I learned so many things. Right? So what are the things you need to build um, uh, using machine learning projects? So that's a great exposure for me. So as I completed my first year, when I when I stepped in second year, so as you know, last year we had a lockdown. So because of lockdown, I I've been applied for a few internships. So I had two interns selected for that. So because of lockdown, I don't I couldn't able to go over there. So the reason like they they, they uh, those opportunity cancel for me. So in my uh, in my third semester, I like, had an internship offer some. Some NGOs, it's an NGO, so where they asked me to design some application using ML. So my role is I need to design applications about the weather conditions. So when so I need to predict, I need to make application like probability, right? So when is summer, when the summer is going to come, when is some rain, rain is going to come, so that it will be helpful for the farmers for the crop protection. So that's the responsibility I have given that internship. So uh, probably I took almost three months to complete this application. So probably I had a good experience over there. So that's the second experience in my life. And then like when I entered the fourth year. When I got the fourth semester, I got a decent internship, guys. So these are first paid internships in AI. So it was amazing, guys. So these are the steps I took. The first thing, guys. So in this journey, I want to share like my experience in short. Like let me share with three things. First thing, like when you're choosing the domain, just start learning those concepts. First, learn these those concepts. So after learning course, apply them. Don't don't ever like uh, keep on learning things, guys. Just after as soon as you learn learning process completed, just start applying those concepts in some real projects. So after learn after applying real projects, just start applying for 
unpaid interest so as soon as we cannot go for paid interest as so you are beginner you should have some basic like basic experience in the domain so that only you can offer you can go for the paid internships guys so these are the three experience i learned in my learning part now i'm going to discuss about the what experience i learned from doing those internships so the company called iaa so it's the institute of artificial intelligence so recently i it means three months i working with them so still i'm working with them so uh, they motto is to like uh, e learning platform for in ai and they will be having they will be doing some research projects in ai domain and using machine learning and deep learning guys so where i got selected in the internships so i will be sharing like experience what are the things i learned in the internship till now guys the first thing which i learned in that internship guys so when i entered the college when i entered the internship so first like first drawback which i faced like as you know whenever whenever you're going for new place you will find few more difficult to like to speak it friends so you need you will be taking some less some time to settle out there so same case with me so i'm a shy person so i just take took almost 20 days to get mingle with them so to start working with them so that the first drawback i faced in that uh, while starting of internships the second drawback which i faced while doing the research internship guys so as you know when so as you know if you working for web development and application so where you you, will, you just learning you just going to apply the concept which you learn from like courses whereas when you come to research internships where you just you might be learning for concepts when when as a starting internship you will be learning few more concepts let's say if you design application you are going to apply, apply those templates and those code while you design application whereas if you working a research intern you going to like even you are going to learn even more guys so the learning amount you going to increase in where up compared to application development and research industries that's the first drawback i faced guys so when when i went to internship i was like i'm a beginner to deep learning at that time so they asked me to design some kind of courses they asked me to design some full course in deep learning so i know about the basic concept i know all the advanced level but i didn't implement all the concepts so that does is been the one year i started so that's the first drawback i faced so the learning experience in my that internship guys so as as i said before when you enter for research then you'll be learning few more more things so that's the first like first like first a good thing like when you are in the internships so why i'm saying like first uh, good in, good thing is that so when i started internships i learned so many things guys so let me tell you one example guys so i know i'm familiar with cnn concepts so when i went uh, when before enter i know about the cnn so what are the types of pooling and padding I, i'm just know about those concepts when it comes to advanced level like let's say recently google around cfrn concepts so those kind of concepts not i'm not familiar with that so when i working on internship i started learning those things and applying those things in the internship guys so this is the first thing i observed it's a good thing for me so i've been applying my loan concepts and then for new loan concepts so all together i'm going to give a good product to the company and good for society guys this is the first thing i learned in the internships and then second thing guys so i learned like we should not show attitude towards a person guys so you might be a some rich guy you might be a some topper you might be a some good programmer you might be some good researcher so whenever working for organization you should be like adapt to those culture you need to be like we need to respect them so that's the second thing i, I i've been learned in the uh, internship guys third thing guys time management guys so time management they will be given some deadlines to you so within deadline you need to complete those tasks and those assignments so you need to complete on time so one more thing i want to share in this. i got like after now uh, two months i got a i got promoted to team leader so i am the team leader of the company so when it comes to team leader they are huge responsible for you know to tackle the team so in the team you might be face some difficulties in my team i faced so many difficulties so we just need to tackle all all those things and we need to complete the project on time so it's all about experience guys so i learned this like three experience while doing the internship guys So these are the like all my experience I share with you of about research internships. So even if you're planning for doing research internships, so you will be facing this kind of problems and this kind of good points. So sometimes you will be facing some kind of uh, back backwards. So even I face those things. So just leave those bad like bad thoughts and just focus on work, guys. So as I said before, like I will sharing three tips at the end of the video. The first tip I want to share: be shameless, guys. So even I am the like shy person. My first year, so as soon as I enter the second year, I, I just started breaking out. coming out of comfort zone shy sir shy guys the first thing why i am being shameless so let me share one example guys so if you are going for marriage so when you are going for marriage you you want a person who is working in a tcs so let's say you are he is working in some it it company just go talk with them so like bro i am good at this technology so i am good at this uh, this domain so this is my resume and these are the things i have been working till now so if you get any kind of opportunity do refer my name so it be helpful so just start uh, Let's start conversation with the people, guys. So that's the way you will bring the connections, guys. So be shameless whenever you, whenever you see some people, whenever you see some students working in domain, just talk with them. Just share your knowledge. Just share these other things. Just share your resume. Share your portfolio with them. So that if they if they have an opportunity, they can refer your name. This is the first thing I want to share. The second thing, guys. So 
before like after complete four years graduation you might just enter into placement get an it company full time employee uh, i would recommend like you should do at least two internship in college like guys why because when you are doing internship you will be learning three things the first thing time management so i have been seen from many employees as soon as they completing four year graduate four, four years of graduation they will straight away move into it companies where they will be like they don't know like how to manage time so they will be complaining to the others like uh, bro i am not having time so what i am not having time to learn new things so like complaining is not it's not going to help for them so it's going to be loss for them so like be, before like uh, getting into placement before getting into some full time employees just focus on getting some internship guys at least two internship i would i would recommend as a college student as a engineering college student guys so one more advantage of getting internship guys so when so you have seen like after getting a placement in some M, some top service based companies they will be given training you for 6 months so after 6 month training only they will you will be starting the work in that company so even some company they won't offer you to work in you know domain they will be offering some other domain which is not related to your related to subject guys so instead of wasting time for just sake of money so i am not recommend those kind of work oh guys so that's why when you start internship you are going to work in domain so you can use that experience and applying for your own domain internship guys so one more placement so this is the first second thing i want to start with you third thing guys so as if time management one more thing you will be learning a lot guys when are you going internship you will be learning time management skill sets and then like building connections so these are like this are this place a key role in like building connections so even i got this internship using my one of my connections so he's working he's worked with me in one more internship so because of him i got this internships so this is how you'll getting into this kind of internships guys so how like it's all matter of connections reference guys so if i have good connection good reference you can survive so i'm not saying like recommendation just if you have a good connection good knowledge in the domain you can get a good kind of internships and good kind of uh, replacement guys so these are things i want to share with you let me recall those things guys the first thing you, you just need to be shameless second thing you just need to start talking with people having connections has some as connection third thing the work experience before getting into the before getting out of college you should have some work experience in life guys these are three things i want to share you this is my first like this is the first inter research internship i have been applied so i am mean, still working with them so this is my research working working experience so recently i have applied for iit research internships if i get selected i'll share my experience even that internship i'll make one more video on that how to apply in internships my experience on that guys i hope this video helps you guys and do subscribe my channel like it's keep motivation for me and if you are still if you have any doubts on research internships how to get those kind of internships do comment in comment box i'll try to clear those as soon as possible and even if you want to mail you can mail those questions even if you want to chat me insta you can chat me insta and then don't forget to like the video and subscribe guys i've been keep on asking please subscribe my channel guys that's a lot thanks a lot guys we'll meet you soon bye